Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. We've got for you today our LBZ and LMM Duramax 3 inch high flow Y-bridge kit. This kit is a massive increase in airflow, replacing some of the poorest flowing components of the intake track system on the LBZ and LMM Duramax. The Y-bridge kit for the Duramax is one of WC Fab's signature products. It's one of the very first products that I ever made for the Duramax over 12 years ago. And we're really excited and we're proud to offer the very first kit to market for the LBZ and LMM Duramax that is 100% emissions compatible and 49 state emissions compliant. Bolt on, no tuning required, no engine lights, no emissions troubles, high flow upgrade for your 2006 to 2010 Duramax. So the very first part over here on the table is our lower intercooler pipe that connects to the grid heater. Uh, the piece on in front of us here is the LBZ version. You'll see our slip flange connection, which connects to your OEM intercooler pipe or our upgraded three and a half inch high flow intercooler pipe. We have an OEM mount bracket here, which supports the whole assembly to the front accessory bracket, our map sensor to incorporate your OEM map sensor. And then from there, we have our flange for the grid heater. Again, I mentioned this is the LBZ version, the LMM, just slightly different. The LMM has the uh, throttle control valve at the inlet, so the LMM version, you'll see a flange here instead of the slip ring design. Both pipes incorporate the OEM grid heater for emissions compliance. We use a high temperature silicone O-ring seal on our grid heater flanges instead of the OEM metal gaskets, which are notorious for, for leaking on the sides at the long seam. The O-rings are a much cheaper replacement when it comes time to servicing anything or removal, uh, reinstallation of the product if you're working on the truck, and a much better sealing surface than the metal gaskets. Now one of the most important parts of the system that allows this kit to be emissions compliant and bolt on with no tuning is our upper crossover pipe. This piece here is what allows our three inch intercooler pipe and high flow system to connect to the EGR, making it emissions friendly. One of the most important features of this upper assembly is our large cast housing here, which incorporates the connection to the EGR system. Now from our three inch upper crossover pipe, we go to our silicone boot and stainless steel T-bolt clamps. Our high quality five ply silicone boot here is uh, slightly angled to allow connection to our three inch high flow Y bridge. Now you might recognize this three inch high flow Y bridge uh, this bridge is an item that we've been making for many years. It's actually the very same Y-Bridge that we've used in our Y-Bridge kits up until just recently before this redesign. So this Y-Bridge is replacing the OEM cast unit, which is a very restrictive component. And one of the nicest features of this Y-Bridge is the ease of installation. If you go back seven or eight, ten years ago, when we were making Y-Bridges, we were making a one-piece design and they were, they were difficult to install because it's hard to access your lower bolts. We went back to the drawing board many years ago and we designed our two-piece Y-Bridge. So we'll go through how this works here so that you understand. The factory bridge is two-piece and that's one of the largest downfalls with the factory bridge. As you can see here, the OEM design, the inlet is just two O-rings sliding into the bridge and there's nothing else that supports that bridge or keeps that inlet connected to the bridge crossover section. So what we've done is designed our two-piece bridge so that the lower section is easy to install, just like factory. You can access all of your lower bolts without any special tools, and you don't have to worry about swivel sockets and losing your hardware like some of the other bridges. So what's important about our two-piece design versus the OEM two-piece design is how we connect our inlet pipe to the bridge so that it doesn't slip apart like the faulty OEM design does. First, the installation of the silicone O-ring on the face of the lower section. With a healthy amount of grease, the inlet pipe slides down into place with the bottom engaging into the groove. And the top side, installation of the stud. And we have our special tapered nut which seats into the tapered flange. As you install the nut on the stud, and as the nut tightens down against the flange, it takes that horn and seals the face of it tight against the O-ring that was recently installed. What that does is give you a leak-free seal, three inches the whole way through the track, not getting neck down to two and a quarter like the factory. 
and then into the internal divider that helps split the air between your passenger side and driver side intake runners. So with simple one bolt installation on the top, it seals up your bridge. Our bridge is the easiest to install three inch high flow bridge on the market. And you'll see here we have our threaded port for the OEM temperature sensor. Another feature on our bridge is the connection to your intake runners. We use a O-ring style seal instead of the factory square design. The OEM design uses holes on the top side. What we're able to do with the slotted design versus holes, instead of completely removing the turbocharger, you can just remove the mounting bolts and with a pry bar rock the turbocharger back, not completely remove it. And instead of having to install the bolt through a hole, with the aid of these slots, you can install the Y bridge and install the mounting hardware without having to completely remove the turbocharger, which helps aid in the installation process. So let's talk about the important parts. What does this product flow compared to the factory stuff? As you can see here, the factory cast component doesn't have the best design when it comes to flow. A lot of neck down areas, sharp turns, poor sections of design that are not good for airflow to the engine. So on the flow bench, the OEM component is 356 CFM. Our three inch high flow kit that we just showed you here with smooth mandrel bent, free flowing bends, full three inch tract from the intercooler pipe all the way to the Y bridge is a massive 36% increase over the OEM components for 486 CFM. That's 130 CFM gain over factory. We're all about more airflow with our products. More airflow to the engine means quicker spool up, cooler EGTs, more responsive turbocharger, and the ability to make more power with the same amount of boost. And all around more fun. That's why we're modifying our trucks, right? Is more horsepower. Upgrading your intercooler pipes, both hot side, cold side, and the three inch Y bridge kit assembly opens up the whole intake track from the turbocharger all the way to the engine. We have WC Fab Red on the table here in front of us, one of our most popular colors. Obviously, we have a lot of colors to choose from over 35 different standard colors and thousands of custom colors to pick from to customize your engine bay. Stay tuned to the channel for more product releases. We're gonna have our stage two and stage three high flow bundle kits, which I know a lot of you have been asking about, ready to release soon. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Jason Worley.